Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I almost started without the microphone being plugged in, but that's another matter. Um, so, today, we're doing... Um, I've been thinking about uh, this idea of offering commissions and specifically targeting you know, wedding venues. I don't know if many people get married in the church or not anymore, but this one is a church. So it's just something to start the idea with. It has been a little already. Up on off to school. I have a meeting in an hour with the older one. And hopefully, 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 I'll get him sorted because. Other price. At least, at least, he only has um, a short time left in school. He's only got um, he's only got. Anyone who's wondering where this church is, it is in Thornton, near Cleveland, in um, an area of the town called Stanner. So, um, Stanner Schools, across the road, in that sort of direction. Um, Just in this sort of area, the building here, there's a hill kind of behind here, and the building on the farm that used to be up there. Um, they claim it's a brownfield site, but the only industry was farms. Brownfield because you know it has uh, it had a barn and it made of asbestos, you know, that sort of thing. What makes it a brownfield site these days, right? Um, but down the road, down here, they built. A large number of units uh, when I was a teenager. And, uh, when I was working at school, I had a kid who why they were building all these houses up the hill here. Uh, basically, said, Well, my family have lived down here for longer than your family. Your family, the interlopers, in new houses. Don't get to complain about new houses being built when 
Your houses set the precedent. These are the new ones. You're very happy about that. But I thought it was funny. That was my drama. Actually thinking about the things that they said before they said them. Don't have a problem with the herbs that's been built. It's the fact that they don't kind of build the immunities that need to you know, and the jobs on them. Most of the jobs that they, these people move in for are quite distant away so it's not really um, eco-friendly but other than that you know the good thing about this is when the ink's not moving and there you can kind of see how empty it is. A lot easier to see than in the uh, backpack than it is. It's a uh, school road where my parents used to live. It's that sort of direction. They don't live there anymore, which is why I don't want to say where it is. And I personally don't live there for very long. Let's put these windows on. I'm bored and there's. Down this way, there's one closed uh, Catholic church. It's closed down. I don't think they use it. I've not seen anyone use it. It looks overgrown. There's this, which I think is CA. Then further down the street, over the train crossing, there's a the last remaining Methodist church. This is the middle one. And then it's the other side of Thornton where the functional Roman Catholic Church is. Sorry, I've just looked at this. It's just near my old house. Which is next to the school my eldest went to. That is what put him off education. Entire life. Mm -hmm.
Um, so yesterday I started getting um, ads. Um, um, on uh, Facebook for a company that does custom house portraits. Um, they're cheap. They're cheaper than me. I would feel comfortable working. Not meeting her very much. I went in, went in a couple of years ago, because it was the place where I was supposed to vote. I think I went to a play group there with elders. Um, anyway, this company charges not very much, um, so I'm guessing they don't pay their employees very much, because how could they? Especially as they're paying 15% commission to um, paying 15% commission to uh, um, people for the roofer to their site. Plus the massively advertising. Um, they're relying on you know, volume sales, I guess. Um, for me, that wouldn't be sustainable. Um, so, probably prices will stay what they are. In comparison to this, just kind of you know, warrant it, I'm trying to compete on price. Um, because we're already I'm already beating them on in terms of quality I just can't beat them on price not without making myself ill I'm trying to It's like of similar companies, um, who have all claimed to be using local artists. I would be dubious that they are just from terms of the price. Um, that's all right. Pain not the computer on price. You can't do it, you can't. It becomes a race to the bottom if you start trying to compete on price with 
please make a couple of these. Like I say, every time I come across a symbol sort of company, they were using artists from overseas and not paying them very much. Um, if you look at this. Then if you look into it deep enough. Then anyway, um enough moaning about other companies and how much how little they charge. Um I'd be uh, to charge my amounts. Um if you are interested in the commissions. Um, at the moment you can go through Patreon but uh, there's ways to send me an email joseph at redfoxpottery.com and um, I'll get back to you with a price you say how big you want it kind of a it's a day four um, basically the prices are quite transparent uh, a values slightly more than half of A4 but uh, A3, A2 and A1 etc are just um, for a charge for A4 so um, I've been packaging up the paintings ready to go on the website um, and I've got an open studio soon this might be it today I think maybe <laughs> It's not in my time, but it might be in yours, we'll see. Um, either way, I'll put a clip uh, when it's that day. I'll do a YouTube shot of the Open Studio, and you'll get to see that. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go upload some stuff to the website now. Uh, bye.